Hello and welcome to Tektronix. Today we're going to talk about how to run a signal path compensation, or SPC, on an MDO 4000 series oscilloscope. So our goal is to be able to run a signal path compensation, or SPC, and this SPC will correct for any direct current inaccuracies caused by temperature variation or long-term drift. SPC can be run at any time after the oscilloscope has been warmed up, so about 15 or 20 minutes, and it should be run whenever the ambient temperature has changed by more than 10 degrees Celsius, or once a week if vertical settings of 5 millivolts per division or less are being used. And really, you want to be running SPC about once a month regardless of your working conditions and environment anyways, because it's just a matter of maintenance and reassuring that your product is recording data as accurately as possible. So select Utility, followed by Utility Page. Using Multipurpose A, we can select our page, which will be Calibration. Select Signal Path, and you'll see this display that describes SPC. Unlike the MSO and DPO scopes, the MDO scope has a built-in RF spectrum analyzer, so there are a few subtle differences in the functionality of SPC. However, it is essentially the same, but I will point these out as we walk through the process. So it prompts us to disconnect all probes and cables from all channels in RF, which has already been done. It also tells us the SPC will take approximately 15 minutes to run, and this is because on an MDO scope, it calibrates both the time and frequency domains whereas on an MSO and DPO scope, it only has a time domain to calibrate, and that takes about 10 minutes. Running SPC will leave the scope in default setup, so we should take that into consideration beforehand. It also tells us when the last SPC occurred. Press OK to begin SPC. An exclusive feature on the MDO scopes, since the MSO and DPO scopes do not have a built-in RF spectrum analyzer, is that we have the option to calibrate the RF spectrum analyzer alone. Select RF, followed by More. And it gives us all the same information as it did in the last SPC, with the exception that this SPC will only take 3 minutes to run. Again, select OK to run the SPC. So you can see signal path compensation successfully completed, which reminds me if you go back into utility, you will see that it is passed. Note that SPC should never fail. If it does for any reason, then you should run diagnostics as something may be broken or you may have some other hardware issue. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more information about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com support.